What is up, my friends? What an episode. I mean, are we going to talk about that? Are we really going to talk about that right now? I'm not going to get into it just yet, because spoilers, anybody who's not watched The Mandalorian Chapter 15, we're talking about it. And, I mean, I don't know why you would click on a video talking about ending explained or whatever if you're not aware of what happens, right? So, let's just get into it. Mando took off his helmet. Holy shit. So, this episode, I think, was a very... It had good action. I'm not going to lie to you. The action sets when they were fighting on top of the shipment container and everything. Very, very good. But I think, most importantly, what I thought about this uh, episode was it was a very self-reflecting episode for The Mandalorian. As well as for Bill Blur... Burr, blur... It, you know... I, I don't know why I was going to say Blur, but Bill Burr's character, Mayfield, as well, had some self-reflecting in this episode as well. And I thought that that was something very refreshing to see, and I really did enjoy that for that. So what we see in this episode is Mando and the crew, of course, Kara and uh, Boba Fett, everybody, are out here trying to find the coordinates for Moff Gideon. And they are like, okay, the only way we can get to this is if we go to a base, we get the um, codes from there and everything, but we're going to have Mayfield and the Mando go undercover as stormtroopers and try to do this. So they end up doing this and they get some of the aliens of the planet fighting them, but ultimately they make it into the um, base where they need to get the coordinates. Just as Mayfield is about to go get the coordinates, however, he's like, never mind, I can't do this. I'm not going into that room because my admiral from before is there and he might recognize him. And Mando's like, seriously, dude, <laughs> what do we do now? I'm just going to have to do it. Mayfield's like, you really can't go in there because you need to take off your helmet and it's going to have to do a facial recognition and all of that and you don't take off your helmet. And I thought that that was a very good scene, especially with the previous scene when they were in the cargo ship together and they were talking about why do you believe something and somebody else believes something else, but yet you're going around changing your rules as you go because now you're wearing a stormtrooper's armor and you said you wouldn't take off your armor before. So he's like, so what is it? What's the whole deal with it? And I thought that that was a very interesting conversation that they had, especially now that Mando is in a situation where he is just trying to get Baby Yoda and save him. Yes, I'm still calling him Baby Yoda, Grogu, whatever. Baby Yoda it is for me. And so he's desperate at this moment in time, and he's going to do whatever it takes, and that means taking off his armor and even showing his face to everybody. And we see Pedro Pascal finally without the helmet, and I was just like, all right. Um. So the admiral that Mayfield actually recognizes comes up to the Mando, and he's just pretty much like, "Who are you? What's your number? All of this." Mando's freaking out. And he's like, "I'm about to have to kill him." But then Mayfield shows up, and he like helps him out with everything. The man is like, "Let me get y'all a drink because y'all were the only shipment container that was able to come through." And they start having a drink, and Mayfield starts telling the admiral about how he was in a battle and then he's like it's not worth it for everything we've done and all my friends that are dead and the empire is just there and the admiral's like well it is worth it it don't matter what you think basically mayfield's had enough he shoots the admiral and then all hell breaks loose in the mess hall luckily they are able to get out thanks to also kara who starts sniping people and Boba Fett is waiting on the ship and they get the hell out of there. Mayfield is let go now and then Mando sends a message. And I'm going to tell you, Mando looked terrifying and menacing in that video message he sent to Mr. Moff Gideon himself. Telling him that Baby Yoda means more than he will ever know. And that he's coming for him and he's going to get him. So... I thought that that was a very good episode. I enjoyed the team. Also, Boba Fett's armor looks like it is in tip-top shape now. And I'm like, okay, Boba Fett, you ready for that uh, spin-off show, aren't you? And so, um, very good episode. I still want to say the surprise of it all was Pedro Pascal as the Mandalorian taking off his helmet. And we finally see the face because it took a lot. You know, you never... I, I honestly didn't expect to see 
Mando take off his helmet, but you know he's meaning business now and how much Baby Yoda means to him if he's going to go all the way there and do that for him. Next week's episode will be the last episode, and we are definitely going to be getting our final battle between Mando and Moff for sure. Now, will we see Ahsoka come in here at any uh, time? I'm pretty sure we will see her show up. Um, I think that everybody who we've seen so far also will be here, even Bo-Katan as well. So it's it's going to be a very big finale. I will be making a video talking about some uh, predictions I have for the season finale as well as season three. You can find those uh, coming up this week as well. And yeah, if you're watching this video, like as soon as the episode was done, like at midnight, Today I will be having a ton of videos on the Disney Investors Day. I will be talking about the Marvel shows that were discussed, the Marvel movies, as well as the Star Wars movies, the Star Wars shows. A lot got announced today at Disney's Investors Day, and I'm just going to cover most of it right now. So, um, But yeah, Disney Investors Day today had a short, like, Mando talk they did a full recap of the season two where we're at right now and just how we got here but they didn't really go in depth about what was coming for season three there are a lot of rumors here and there talking about pedro pascal not wanting to return maybe all of this but i think he uh definitely will return there's no way they're gonna just let him go and maybe they'll just do a final season three that's my honest opinion um it's supposed to come out sometime in december of next year according to kathleen kennedy when she was talking about it so um i don't know i don't know if moff gideon is just going to be uh like his final episode next week or what's going to happen and then they'll introduce uh thrawn in some shape way or form to be the big bad of course but we'll, we'll see what happens with that anyways let me know what you thought about this episode i thought as i said good action good self-reflecting episode had it all and bill burr is just funny always i just love seeing him in anything honestly so very very happy with this week's episode as always, however, that is going to do it for me. As I said, make sure you turn on that bell for notifications because we got a ton, a ton, a ton of videos coming today and all this week. And we are also on the road to 20 down subscribers. Let's get to it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, follow me on Twitter at NerdRound, TikTok Campfire Tales with a Z or Direct Bulletin. Those are my two different TikToks. And yeah, that's going to do it for me. As always, stay safe, stay positive. Hey, if you're still listening, check out the video on the left. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share. I'll see you next time. Stay positive.